Hey everybody, Caleb here and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for jumping on here and checking out another games video. We're doing another update and this time we are talking about three next level games that your group is gonna love. They're kicking it up a notch, they are fun, energetic, and big and you guys are gonna want to try them out. And so we're gonna jump on in, we're gonna check these ones out, but really quick, really fast, if you don't mind, drop a like on this video. The YouTube algorithm really likes likes right now and so help this video get to more people to help their youth ministries out by dropping a like comment down below any games you guys want to recommend by the end of this because guess what I'm not an expert on this I'm just a guy with a couple ideas and I've seen a couple of games work out so what have you guys seen and also make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any other youth ministry related content here on the channel or even some of my other stuff I might put out there from time to time so make sure to do all that stuff but right now let's just jump on in let's get started let's get kicking let's see what these games are. So the first game is one that is going to have a lot of energy. It's big. It's the entire group involved and it is called Outburst. So the game Outburst is one where for our youth ministry, we've done this, where we have four teams. We end up having four teams for us. We've done our J-High girls and guys and then our high school guys and girls. That's the way we've divided up. You could do it based off of life groups, small groups, your crews, whatever you call them, however you guys want to do it, but you got some teams going down. And you send them out to different spots in the room and then what you do next is you have a list of categories and so your team has already gone through ahead of time and had a master list so let's say your master list is like fast food restaurants NBA teams car brands and locations or something like that something of that nature and then on those lists you have categories for each of them where it will have like 10 items five items however many you want listed out so let's say one of the categories is fast food and so then you're gonna list out let's say five fast food restaurants that these groups need to name now here's the deal this is where you really got to nail this you then are gonna have four people if you have four teams but one person per team who's the representative and so they're gonna have a list that has all the answers on it so let's say you got fast food that's the category and then they'll see the five or so answers that the group needs to say now this is where the energy and the madness starts to kick off because the whole team is answering the whole time so you'll have not even a timer on on the screen you'll just say go and the first team to shout out and have their representative hear all of the necessary answers wins so let's say you get up there and you say fast food and your ones are like Sonic Chick-fil-a McDonald's Burger King Wendy's or something like that the first team to have their team end up saying those five answers wins and it's just sporadic let's say you got like 10 middle school boys they can all be shouting whatever Whatever answers they think it might be all at the same time and all you need is that representative to hear those five answers and then they're good they throw their arms up something like that and the team wins outburst is high energy big fun and the whole team's involved we've loved it as a youth ministry we'll do like five or six categories it goes by pretty quick and sometimes if a team gets stumped it's honestly just hilarious because they're just standing there yelling out different answers trying to hit it and it is always great. It's always good. The second game that I want to tell you guys about is one that will cost just a little bit to get going. The last one, all you need is a PowerPoint. All you need is even just a sheet of paper and some ideas to print off onto them. For this one, you'll need a little bit of supplies and that is Giant Dice. And the game is Giant Dice Roll. That's all it is. It is hilarious though. And what we have done with this is let's say you got teams again. Let's just stick with four teams for the sake of example. You could do as many teams as you want. Each team team will have their own giant dice and what you do is is you spread your teams out equally from the middle of the circle for us we would do like a tape box in the middle the dice have to be in the tape box and then the teams are in their four corners and so what you will then do is have your MC your host the leader of the game shout out a number so those be like three the first team to have somebody run up and roll a three gets a point. 
And so the way that we've structured this game then is you'll have your four teams in their corners, you'll have your dice in the middle, and then you'll have your teams lined up into rows, and it's just a relay where that's the way they're cycling through their teams. So you'll have one person run out, roll the dice. Let's say the number's three, but they roll a two. Okay, no big deal. They hurry back, and once they're back, the next teammate goes. It is high energy, bunch of running around, a ton of fun, and it's really simple. Everybody can do a dice roll, everybody can make it happen, and it is a ton of fun, and your groups will love it. You can do it as long as you want for as many numbers as you want, but all in all, it is a great game, and I know your students will love the energy that it brings. This last one is all out, it's big, it's huge, it's a ton of fun, and it's a lot of energy brought from this game. It is life-size Hungry Hungry Hippos, and so you will We'll have a little bit of a supply list for this game. For everybody, what you will need is you're gonna need a number of dodgeballs. That's what we used. We used dodgeballs and we used pool balls and we put them into a duct tape circle. So you're going to need balls of some sort that will be in the middle. They're representing what your hungry, hungry hippos are trying to eat. Next, you'll need a bin, like a big storage bin for each of your teams. You can do a variety of sizes. For us, we tried to do the ones that were probably about this big ish big enough that you could like put your arms on the side. And we were able to use those and that is the mouth of our hungry, hungry hippo machine. And then the last thing that you will need and that we used, I bet you could figure out some different ways to use it, is some kind of rolling scooter or cart. And so you could go to Harbor Freight and you could get some of the kind of cheaper like appliance dollies if you wanna go that route. For us at our church, our kids department had some of the little kind of elementary school lay on your stomach plastic scooters and what you then do do is once you have that, you're going to have your hippo get onto their scooter, put their arms onto their mouth, which is their bin, and then they'll have a teammate grab their feet and then they're wheelbarrowing them out. And so what we went around and what we did is we would do rounds with, again, four teams. And so we had four scooters, we had four bins, and we had about 25 or so balls in the middle of this area with a big tape circle around them to make our pond. And so what we then would have is our MC would yell, go! And then it's just madness. It is the teammates rolling out their teammate. They're throwing down their thing. They're starting to pull them back. Usually you're going to have some of the balls maybe it'll float back out of the thing because of the friction on the ground, that kind of a thing. We then just had a leader in the middle of the room that would make sure they're funneling all the balls back to that middle section. But it is just pure madness. It's mass running. Again, use a relay format for each of your teams where they're getting there. They're then just running back to the front once they've gone through the line and they're continuing to go through it until all of the hungry, hungry hippos are fed until all of the balls are out of the middle of the thing. And then you just have your leaders or you have yourself, your team, whatever it may be, count up how many balls each team had and you'll have a winner of the round. For us, we usually like to do two, three, four rounds. But guys, it's big. It's a ton of fun. It's an awesome time. And again, this is one where I think you can get creative with whatever supplies you have to make it work for your group. But hungry, hungry hippos, life size, whether they're junior hires, high schoolers, college, age people even. They are gonna love it. It's a lot of fun. Now with all that being said, that's all I got for you guys. Those are my three games. Three next level youth group games that are big, bring a lot of energy. They got a lot of people playing them and they will go great whether it's just a normal youth night or an event or anything like that. Now really quick, I'm not always the best at perfectly explaining games and so if you have any questions please comment them down below and I will respond to them. I'll get back to you. I'll let you know any answers in case I was un clear at any point in this video. Also, really quick, drop a like if you enjoyed any of these games. And you know what? When you drop that like, it's going to help other people on YouTube get recommended this video to help their youth ministries out. So thank you so much for that. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel. We passed a thousand subscribers a while ago. I never thought we'd even hit that spot. And so to hit 2,000 subscribers would just be insane. And so join on in, subscribe to the channel. Don't miss out on any content we have here. But with all that being said, that's all I got for you guys today. And so I just want to say thank you for checking this video out and I will see you next time.